So yesterday I took to Twitter to ask you guys, the people, what gun you would like to see next kind of as a preview review from They Shall Not Pass. And I gave you the option between the RSC new medic weapon and the Shosho new support weapon. And the Shosho just edged out the RSC, but uh, not like that matters. Hillary got the votes, but uh, in the end she got Trump. So I, I'm going to go with the RSC today because that's what I want personally. And uh, honestly, it's just because I don't have any gameplay for the show show yet. But that will be coming out tomorrow for you guys. So stay tuned. Subscribe if you're new here. I'll be covering that now. It is with great pleasure that I introduce to you my new favorite medic weapon, the RSC. Oh, God. It is so nice. This is what I wanted to happen to the other guns out there that are a little bit ammo handicapped. We're talking about the 1906, the 835. Those guns, five rounds are just not enough because you can't confidently get two kills with one mag. And in a game like Battlefield, when there's squad spawning system in play, there's there's always more than one person around the corner. You don't fortunately get a chance for a 1v1. If so, the entire meta would be different. And the 1906 would be one of the most valuable weapons in the game because it's a great 1v1 weapon. But I'm really happy to see they didn't take that route. I totally thought this gun was going to be the shittiest one out of the kit, and then I saw the damage output, and I can't be more happy with the way they executed this gun. Now, if you do not know, out to 44 meters. <clears throat> out to 44 meters, this gun is a two-shot to kill. Uno, dos, dead. That's that's how it works. What's, what's the Spanish word for it? Muerto? It's, it's been a long time. But either way, that's pretty much the formula for success for this gun. It's got six rounds, which means you can kill three people if you spread the love around for two shots for each one. This thing is really strong in close quarters, but it's not easy to pass. It's got a slower rate of fire, and it's very hard when you get into some of those close quarters. The SMGs are still going to benefit over this weapon, even though it is a two shot to kill. It's when you get around the 30 meter range that this thing really shines, and you're going to put down a lot of threats. And it's a very dominant weapon in the meta. And I can see this growing to be maybe even a competitive weapon. Like I said, in the hands of a skilled player, this could be that really, really good gun. And I feel like some people are going to use it, but it's not going to be super popular in a pub play style because that environment means people are all about using the easier guns. And even though it only takes two shots to kill, if you miss one or two, it could be punishing because the rate of fire is pretty slow for a medic weapon. But... There's always pros and cons to a slower rate of fire semi-automatic weapon. If you think about it, having a slower rate of fire means that you're going to be able to stabilize the weapon. It's going to recover better from the recoil, and you're going to be able to line that shot up. You can see that this thing has almost no recoil just because of the slower rate of fire. So it works in that way, but at the same time, the longer time that you are not harassing the enemy shooting at them means they get to not only put damage into you, but with a game like Battlefield, that's extra suppression. And when suppression starts hitting you with this weapon... You panic, you miss shots, and missing shots with a slow rate of fire weapon is extremely punishing. So it's definitely more of a veteran weapon. Anyone can use it, but to use it to the rate that this is going to be ridiculous, you're going to need to be a really strong and just good decision-making player. And I absolutely adore this one. It fits my playstyle perfectly. I can use it on a map like Fort Vaux right here, where I can be doing it against things like SMGs and shotguns, which should be dominating. But you play it right, you play it smart, and it's ridiculous. Now... I wouldn't be shocked if the community starts ringing the OP bell. Start sending up flares, asking for help, and a nerf. This is not going to surprise me. Nobody's going to like getting too tapped by a weapon. Just period, in general. If it's not a sniper, that's going to frustrate people. And I expect there to be a little bit of backlash, but honestly, I think it's balanced. I think with the ammo capacity, the rate of fire, it's where it needs to be. Because the other ones hit just 10 damage less, and they have a higher rate of fire, which can pretty much... Equal out to about the same TTK, of course, you have to hit them one less time. But, you know, there's there's pros and cons to both of them, and I really do adore the weapon. So to recap, it's got a rate of fire of 163. Can kill in two shots because it's got 53 damage per bullet out to 44 meters, and it starts to drop off, then becoming a three-shot. It's got a five-round reload, so as a little tip from me to you, if you're playing and you feel like you're comfortable, after you reload on empty, you only have five shots. And you gotta you gotta keep this in your head. Five shots may not allow you to kill too comfortably. That extra shot's gonna come in handy. So if you find that there's no immediate threat to you and you've only got five shots, do a second reload. I often do this. I do a reload and immediately right after that, do another reload. Because that one extra shot will come in handy. That's 53 more damage that you can deal out. So that may be a habit that you want to learn to adopt yourself. So thanks for watching, guys. You have a lovely day. The show show will be up tomorrow, and I will catch you with the live stream later on tonight.